In 2016, I was in Madagascar for my PhD and I was observing the lemurs. I was in Kirindi forest, it's a dry deciduous forest, and I was there at the end of the dry season. And I have something to report that I thought was really interesting. So everything started on a November night with the first heavy rain of the season. So the next morning I went in the forest to observe the lemurs and I also observed that the ground was crawling with, with millipedes. I found the animals, the lemurs on the ground, traveling and foraging, and I observed a female, in particular, on the side that was rubbing uh, her foot, and she was really like excited, like really active. And I noticed that she had in, in her hand a millipede. So I observed her for several minutes, and she was chewing, rubbing the, the chewing the millipede, rubbing her foot, and she at the end even ingested this millipede. And I also observed this behavior in six individuals the same day. And I was wondering why. Why is she doing this behavior that exposed her to the predation risk and also to this toxic substance that the, the millipede contain? So I look in the literature and there are several hypotheses. And the first one it would be a detoxification one, that they would rub the millipede to take out this toxic substance. But what we observe is that some millipedes are not eaten. They are uh, rubbed and not eaten. So this is not supporting this hypothesis. And uh, a second hypothesis would be uh, uh, that they use this secretion and as an insect repellent. And this would be possible, but we would expect them to anoint the, the face area that is the most exposed to insects. And it's not what we observe. What we observe is that they anoint, that they rub these millipedes on the perianal area. And interestingly, another hypothesis suggests that uh, this could be used for social communication because this perianal area is used for scent marking, so uh, olfactory communication. But we observe that juveniles that are not doing this uh, scent marking behavior also rub the millipedes. So it's also not consistent with this last hypothesis. So we, we came up with our own hypothesis and that suggests that it could be a self-medication function against uh, nematodes in particular, so worms present in the intestine. And a specific target could be the Oxyoridae nematodes because they are known to infect the lemurs, but they also spread really fast in the, in the population and they cause perianal irritation, so scratching in, in the anus region. And what we observe at the same time in the population is the presence of seed spots, so airless spots that could be caused by itching and rubbing, which would be also a sign of a potential oxorid infection. And the last thing that we observe is that so one of my colleagues that is uh, also participating in the paper, she also um, uh, collected the parasites and she observed that the presence of these nematodes is also overlying in seasonality with the, the rain season and the presence of the millipede. So this would be consistent also with this hypothesis. So as a summary, what we all propose here is uh, that the ingestion could result in oxidative stress in the intestine, so killing the, the nematodes, the adult nematodes in the intestine, while the anointment would uh, kill the larvae, so the, the, the infective stage that is present in the perianal area. And this would act in a complementary fashion, providing prophylactic and therapeutic effects. But maybe you want to know a bit more about it and then just check out the paper.